Hello dear friends, welcome to the word from the valley. We are still in the apple garden showing you the, the, the apple's color is changing these days. It's become half red, but by the end of August you'll have red apples all around. So we are continuing on the topic of forgiveness and uh, I want to tell you uh, what happened sometime many years back. Uh, a doctor couple came to me and said we have a two-year-old child and we discovered my wife has become pregnant. Mind you, they're believers, they love the Lord and um, so my wife became pregnant and you know both of us decided it is too much for us to bring another child into the world and uh, because the husband was doing post-graduation studies and it was, uh, you know, they gave a lot of reasons. And we went and aborted our child, you know. But ever since we've done this, our conscience is very struck and we feel deep regret about it. So that's how they came and shared their problem. So on one side, I know abortion is very, very wrong a sin against God, it's like killing, it's equal to murder. So I was uh, wondering what to answer this couple. And then suddenly as I was praying, the Lord reminded me of Peter's return to Jesus. You know, it took me back to uh, John 18, uh, 21st chapter. Yes. All of us remember how Peter denies Jesus three times. In um, we come back to Matthew 26 chapter. It was uh, from 35, 33 to 35 verses. Jesus tells Peter. Jesus tells everybody, all his disciples. He was talking about how he is going to be crucified. But you know, all the disciples, especially Peter, said, "No, Lord." Yes, even if it is uh, for death, I'm going to come with you and I am ready to die with you. That is what Peter said. And then Jesus said, Peter, you're going to deny me three times. And before the cock crows, you know, you're going to deny me three times. Peter was very upset when he heard this. No, Lord, how can you say that? I'm, I'm willing to give my life. So then the whole night, it was the preparation for the crucifixion. The next morning, next afternoon, Jesus is going to be crucified. The whole night, they were all awake. They were going through the, the judgment and Pilate and, you know, all these process was going on and the suffering of Jesus has started. And... Uh, so in the very same chapter, Matthew 26, this Peter cautioned, uh, Jesus cautioned him in 33 to 35. But when we come down to 69 to 75, you know, in the early in the morning, a servant girl comes and tells in 69, aren't you the disciple of Jesus? A servant girl, not anybody big. But Peter says, no, 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 I don't know this man. Another servant girl comes and asks. And, you know, three times he says, no, 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 I have nothing to do with this man. And in 74 verse, verse 74 of 26 chapter says, he calls down curses and swears. You know, Peter, the fisherman, Peter, the, the beloved disciple of Jesus. Yes. And when he finished his curses and swearing, the cock crows. And of course, we know the rest of the story. Jesus, Peter goes and repents and turns to Jesus. But the crucifixion is over. Resurrection is over. And uh, I don't know, maybe he, Peter thought, fine, it's all finished now. Let's go back to fishing. Maybe that's how he thought, what he thought. As they labored the whole night, they couldn't find 
any fish. But then Jesus comes and meets him on the Galilean shore. And he straight comes to Peter and says, Peter, do you love me? Peter must be feeling very upset to face Jesus because he knows that in spite of Jesus warning him thrice, he is denied him. So he must be feeling having full of regrets. How could I do this? How could I do, to do this to my master? So he must have been very, very upset with himself. You know, there are times all of us go through these times of asking ourselves, how could I do this? But I've done it. You know, that's the same question this couple had. They, they knew it was wrong. They are believers. They knew very well that abortion is wrong. But at the same time, they went ahead and did it. So they were so guilt ridden. And that's how the Lord brought this message to their hearts. And Peter turns, uh, Jesus turns to Peter and asks him, do you love me? Do you love me? Three times he asked. He never accused him or he never said, Peter, I told you, if I were in his position, I would have said, Peter, I cautioned you, but you have gone astray. But it's never Jesus way of dealing with us is never accusation. He only said, Peter, feed my lambs, take care of my sheep. He's given, he's brought restoration into Peter's life. He's brought him back, put him back on the, on the, on the track. And, you know, this very Peter, he became the, he, Jesus told him, the keys of the kingdom are given to you. You are the rock because you, on this rock, the church will be built. And we know how Peter, you know, they wanted to crucify him. He said, I'm not worthy to die like my Jesus. Just put me upside down. That's what Peter became, you know, and he became a powerful, powerful witness of God. He never feared anything. He went into the prison. He preached the gospel to the to all the people and and so many wonders, miracles and wonderful things God did through his life and his whole life. He indeed became the cornerstone of the church. The first church was built in the upper room. So dear friends, maybe you have denied Jesus. Maybe you have betrayed. Maybe you have done things wrong. Knowingly you have done. All of us sometimes fall into this bit out of fear of people, out of punishment, fear of punishment and uh, various factors. So it's not too late. Ask God for forgiveness and also forgive yourself. So that is the most important thing. You know, don't keep on regretting and saying, oh, I've done this, I've done this, how could I do this? No, don't keep on going with this statement, but come to Jesus and ask for forgiveness and forgive yourself. God bless you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, Jesus. How merciful you are, Lord. You forgive us and you help us to forgive ourselves. Lord, we thank you, Father. Yes, Lord, we have denied you many times. We haven't done things which we are supposed to do, Lord. Yes, Lord, we keep on forgiving us and you're merciful to us. Help us to be merciful to ourselves and to others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, dear friends.